fall has officially arrived so i've done this beautiful uh, bold uh, plum look and you know if you like what you see then please keep watching but before getting into the video if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe and click on the bell button so that you'll get notified every single time i post a new video so without further ado let's get started for lip balm using the juicy chemistry lip balm in the master rose variant i'm applying a very generous coat on my lips this takes care of my dryness This is the Smashbox Primer Water. It's a really beautiful primer water. Uh, this just, uh, you know, makes your makeup st stay forever, and also takes care of the dryness. I'm just spraying it all over my face and pushing it into the skin with the beauty blender. For foundation, I'm uh, using the Milani Conceal and Perfect Two in One Foundation Concealer. Uh, I'm in the shade medium beige for your reference, and uh, I'm applying dotting all over my face first. and then uh, you know blending it with the beauty blender the beauty blender that i'm using is from the brand called blue, blue heaven uh, as i always you know as i have told before this is a very be very good uh, uh, beauty blender uh, it's very soft squishy doubles up in size when you dampen it and all that and this is very affordable too and for concealer i'm using the maybelline aged wine concealer I'm in the shade medium. It's a perfect concealer, guys. And uh, um, this shade medium is just a single tone lighter than my skin tone. I use it to, you know, highlight on my uh, center of the face, like you know, the forehead, uh, um, the under the eyes, the bridge of the nose, the cupids bow, the chin, and also on the eyelids. And I don't rub it. I just, you know, dab it on my uh, face with a beauty blender. And to set the concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Light. This powder is again very, very beautiful product. It's finely milled, and this doesn't give any flashback, and it just blurs your pores and you know all that. I'm setting my under eyes and my eyelid. And uh, the corners of the nose. It's very very important to set the corners of the nose because it tends to we tend to crease more there and also in the smile lines. And for eyebrows, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade dark brown. It's a perfect match for my eyebrows. First, I'm combing my eyebrows well to make sure that the hair sits well before I apply. And uh, with the eyebrow brush, I usually don't like to overdo my eyebrows because you know that doesn't I feel that doesn't suit me. So first I apply the product on the outer two thirds of the eyebrow and whatever is left out I tend to put it on the in the one third of the eyebrow and I am combing it again to make sure that the product is evenly distributed And for eyeshadow I am using the Makeup Revolution Sofix palette it's ultra spice palette it's really gorgeous shade guys it's so good um And I'm taking this shade called Cookie Dough. It's a very light uh, brown shade, and I'm putting it on the crease and I'm blending it really, really well using the windshield wiper motion. Take your own time. I'm blending it till I'm happy with the color. Take your own time. It's okay if you put it all over your lid as well. Now I'm taking this shade called Cheesecake and the Sweet and Sour and putting it just below where we have put it, where where we have put the. Uh, you know the crease shade and blending all the three shades together to get a nice gradient so always build up the color don't just put everything together at one go just take little by little you know build up the color if you know what i mean the color is very very beautiful guys and i'm taking the shade called brownie it's a dark brown shade and i'm putting it in the outer v of the eyes I'm using this flat shader brush. This is a two-in-one brush, like it's a shader brush and shader blending brush. And whatever is left out, I'm just dragging it inside the crease. So it gives a really nice gradient and depth to the eyes. And I'm blending it really well. Do you see the gradient now? I'm taking this uh, three shades together 
uh, this gives a nice plum color to the eyes to, so i'm putting it all over my lid so this gives a nice burgundy a plum berry sort of color which i absolutely love so this palette is really pigmented the sh uh, the eye shadows blend really well and there are no much fallouts also guys definitely check it out so uh, i'm taking a clean blending brush and blending the uh, blending all the colors together the lid color and the crease colors together there shouldn't be any harsh edges as i have always you know said before and i'm taking a another blending brush a clean blending brush and i'm taking the crease color and i'm just smoking it out i'm taking again i'm again taking these berry colors with a dark brown shade and putting it on the lower lash line so it's a gorgeous color these colors these berry colors always look very pretty under the you know lash line the lower lash line and what i'm doing is i'm taking an, a nice blending brush and i'm further smoking it out to get a nice you know a smoked out effect i absolutely love a nice blown out type of you know a a smoky i lower you know blown out uh, look and from the same palette i'm taking this uh, yellow color from the same palette and i'm putting it in the inner corner of the eyes and uh, uh, one third of the inner one third of the lower lash line the yellow color shows off but uh, is not very pigmented guys so i don't think how much the camera can uh, uh, you know show this so for eyeliner i'm using the kiko milano eyeliner It's again a very nice eyeliner and I'm drawing a nice dramatic eye winged eyeliner. A winged eyeliner always pulls the look together guys. I just love it. And for contour I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in light to medium. and i'm contouring my cheeks always make sure that you really really blend your uh, contour well take your own time and blend there shouldn't be any harsh edges again just you know once you apply the product then you can buff it out evenly and I'm, i'm contouring my forehead too since i have a large forehead also my temples my chin and my jawline as well this step don't ever skip this step guys because this really chisels your face it gives a nice definition and depth also don't forget to contour your nose uh, you can prefer you can you know use a smaller brush for uh, applying for uh, you know contouring your nose i couldn't find any nearby at that moment so i use the same brush So yeah. For blush, I'm using the Flower Beauty uh, um, Flower Pots blush in the shade Sweet Pea. Guys, I'll put all the uh, products in the description box below. Please check it out. I'm putting in the op apples of my cheeks, and whatever is left out, I always like to put it on my nose and my chin. You know, because it gives a very natural, healthy, flush-like look. And for highlighter, I'm using the Mac Soft and Gentle highlighter. I'm putting it on the nose. Guys, this again is a very beautiful highlighter for Indian skin tones because it has a peach undertones that look absolutely beautiful on all Indian skin tones. So I'm putting it all over my uh, forehead and the high points of my forehead, on the cupid's bow, on the bridge of the nose, on my chin, and on my cheeks as well. basically where the light tends to where the light tends to fall 
so and i also i always like to put the highlighter in the uh, you know beginning of the where i where i have the ball of my cheeks because when you smile it gives a beautiful light it's really it's for mascara i'm using the maybelline fall sensation lash sensation mascara it's a really it's again a very beautiful mascara it makes your lashes very long fluttery it's waterproof as well it's dark and you can definitely check this out I have played falsies. The falsies that I've used is from Pack. It's their mink lashes. It's absolutely dramatic the way I love. And for lipstick, I'm using the Nykaa lipstick. It's a nice burgundy sort of plum color. It's uh, you know perfect for the fall. So I really really love this. Again, I wouldn't call it a matte lipstick. It's a demi matte formula. That's all I have for you guys. I hope you all like the video. If you like the video, please like, comment and share it with your friends and I'll catch you in the next interesting video. Bye guys.